everyone, welcome back to Bochinot and Bochinot.com. My name is Nicole. Today I'm very excited to show you guys a brand new handbag that I had made. This is a beginner friendly pattern and the design is great for any season and it goes with almost any outfit. The size of this bag in this pattern is 10 inches long and 6.5 inches wide. If you want to make a little wider bag, you can also add more square knot columns to this. Or you can get longer dowels and use a thicker cord to make an even larger bag. If you guys enjoy macrame DIY tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for weekly tutorials that come out. And if you are looking for more patterns to learn from to get you from a beginner to advanced quicker, then you can check out my Bochina Macrame community on Patreon where I will release a tip or trick video or a DIY pattern video weekly. Usually the patterns on there are more of an intermediate to advanced skill level. If you are interested in checking out what tiers are available, then check out the link in the video description below. And with that, let's begin! So before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. I've used a 3mm cotton cord for this bag, as well as two 8-inch dowels. The cord I will be using today is an army green 3mm single strand cotton cord from my rainbow cord line. As mentioned before, I'll be using two 8-inch dowels. These are 8-inch in length and 0.5-inch in diameter. They are thicker and sturdier dowels so that you can hold more weight in your handbag. So to begin, we will start off with one side of the handbag. So taking one of the dowels, Hang it up on a rack if you're using a vertical workstation or place it down if you are working off a stable surface. Taking a strand of cord at 220 centimeters long, fold it in half and attach it onto the left side of the dowel using a lark's head knot. Continue with three more strands of cord on the left side of the same length using the same knot. Now you have four strands of cord attached with Lark's head knots on the left side of the dowel. Repeat on the right side of the dowel with another four strands of cord attached onto the dowel using Lark's head knots. Once all eight strands of cord are attached onto the dowel, four on both sides, make sure that the Lark's head knots are nice and snug against the wooden dowel and then starting with the far left four vertical cords make a square knot with the far left and far right out of the four cords as working cords for the square knot. This is one square knot. Taking the next four cords to the right, repeat the knot. Then repeat the same thing with the far right eight cords with two square knots right underneath the lark's head knots. Do, 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 
Then working with the left side again, taking the four cords in between and underneath the two square knots, make an alternating square knot. Then underneath, starting with the far left four cords, make another square knot and then add one more square knot adjacent to it on the right. Repeat these two alternating square knot rows on the right side. Starting on the left side again, repeat the two square knot row patterns. So one square knot in the middle and then two square knots underneath. Repeat these two square knot rows onto the pattern on the right side. Once the alternating square knot rows are done on both sides, we will now proceed to start working on the section in between. So taking one strand of cord at 180 centimeters long, fold it in half, and place it beside the far right two cords on the left pattern. The loop end should be facing the top. You should be holding four vertical cords, then taking the far left and far right from the four cords as working cords, make a square knot. Then using another strand of 180 centimeter long cord, repeat on the right side to the left of the right panel. Now we will make separate square knot patterns to fill in the rest of the middle portion. Starting with two strands of cord at 180 centimeters long each, Fold both of them in half, 
and then place the loop ends together at the top and taking the far left and far right out of the four chords as working chords, make a square knot. Pull on the cord ends to tighten the knot. Repeat these square knot patterns three more times until you have a total of four square knot patterns. Once you have made four of these square knot patterns, we're going to attach them to the middle section of the handbag side. So taking one of them, we're going to place it towards the left panel and beside the square knot that we had just made before, we're going to make an alternating square knot underneath to connect the two. So taking two cords from both square knots underneath, make an alternating square knot. Then taking the next square knot pattern, attach it to the right, again with an alternating square knot underneath. Continue adding to the right for two more square knot patterns. Once you have all four attached, we're now going to take that fourth one we had just made and attach it to the right square knot with another alternating square knot underneath. We are now going to fill in the square knot rows on the left side and then on the right side. Add one square knot to the left and then two more underneath, then repeat on the right side.
Then underneath, we're going to start making 12 consecutive rows of alternating square knot rows. So this time we will start from the left and make an alternating square knot row from left to right and then continue for a total of 12 more rows. If you count the top two full rows from the top, then there will be a total of 14 rows. So here, as you can see, I've added one more square knot row underneath, and now you have to make 11 more. Once you have made a total of 14 full square knot rows, we will now start on the left side and make a series of berry knots to the right. So starting on the left side, underneath the far left two square knots, with the four cords, make a berry knot. So start by making three consecutive square knots with the four cords first and then taking the middle two anchor cords weave them through the hole above the first square knot from front to back pull the cords down from the back and then using the far left and far right cords as working cords again finish this berry knot off with one last square knot using the same anchor cords continue with the next set of four cords to the right for another berry knot and then repeat this pattern to the right for a total of eight berry knots Starting with the far left four cords, make another square knot row from left to right. Once that first row underneath the berry knots is made, make an additional six more alternating square knot rows underneath. You have now completed one side of the bag. So taking your second dowel, repeat all those steps from the very beginning up to this point. Once you have both bag sides done, we will now seal them together. So at the very bottom of the fringe, taking the two longest cords from the fringe, you should have a few that are super long on the sides. Cut about 40 centimeters off. So the cords you cut off should be about 40 centimeters long. Once the two cords are cut off, we will place the bag sides together 
but this time we're going to place the berry knots and start inside out. So berry knots facing each other and then you will start sealing one side of the bag. So make sure you start off by aligning the square knots on the top two sides, making sure that the loops are aligned. We're going to start from the third loop and weave through the 40 centimeter cord with the crochet hook from bottom up. Then on one end, we're going to make a double overhand knot. Then we're going to take that long cord end and continue weaving the cord end down through the loops. So through the next loop, weave through the long cord end from bottom up. Then continue weaving it through the next set of loops, bottom up, until you've reached the last loop at the end. Once you have reached the last loop at the end, take that same cord and weave it through that same last square knot loop on the side once more. Once you have weaved it through the same loop a second time, loosen the loop from the side and then place that long cord end through the loop and then pull on the cord end to tighten. Now using the second 40 centimeter cord, repeat the same pattern on the other side, weaving from the third loop all the way down. Once both sides are complete, you can now flip the bag inside out so that the berry knots are facing the outside of the bag. So last but not least, we are going to seal the bottom of the bag with some square knots. So starting on the far left side, we're going to work with four cords on the top and four cords at the bottom at a time. Taking one cord on the right side from the top square knot and then taking a cord on the left from the bottom square knot as working cords, make two consecutive square knots. Because you had that cord on the side from the weave, include that with the first consecutive square knot pattern on the left side. So you will have a total of nine square knots on the left side here and on the far right side once you get there. But all the square knots in between will only have eight cords, four on the bottom and four on the top. So once the first set of double square knots are made, we will take the next set to the right, four on the top, four on the bottom, with one left cord from the bottom, one right cord from the top, as working cords for two consecutive square knots.
Keep repeating to the right until you have a total of nine of these double square knot patterns made. Lastly, we're going to trim all the loose cord ends from inside the bag and also at the very bottom of the fringe to your desired length. I hope you guys enjoyed this handbag tutorial. Let me know if there are any other patterns you guys would like to learn in the comment section below. And please tag me on Instagram with your finished piece if you do decide to make this pattern. If you guys are interested in learning more macrame patterns just like this, you can join my Bochi Not Macrame community on Patreon. Or I do have a structured macrame course out on Thinkific and on Udemy where I go through over 40 video lessons starting you from the basics of macrame, so the foundation basics of what you need to know from the basic knots to how to set up your workstation all the way to creating your own stunning macrame designs. It includes a variety of different DIY projects and best practices that you should know for macrame. If you are looking to advance your skill set, give this course a try and I'll post a link to that in the video description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.